start with start with a clean test tube and add 1 ml of formic acid then add 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid not the bubbles now we will identify the carbon monoxide by igniting the gas evolved and observing the flame now we will identify the carbon monoxide gas Now, start with the clean test tubes and add mercury chloride. Start with around 1 ml. Then add sodium formate solution. Now, we will warm the solution. Not the formation of white precipitate. Start with a clean test tube and add a few mLs of diluted sulfuric acid. Start with 2 mLs for example. Add formate, same volume, 2 mL. Now we will add permanganate solution, drop by drop. Now we will warm the formation in the, uh, the solution in water bath till the color of permanganate disappear. After 10 minutes, you can see that the color of permanganate totally disappeared. Start with a totally dry test tube and start adding equal volumes from resorcinol and succinic acid. Use like 0.5 gram from both of them. Now we will fuse them together using a flame. Using a flame, we will fuse resorcinol and succinic acid together. Totally fused together. Now, we will add two drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Leave it for cooling. Now, after cooling, we will dissolve the mixture using water. And then we will add sodium hydroxide solution 
in excess. Add water in excess to see yellow to green color. If you want to see more green flowers in color, you can add also some water. Not the beautiful green fluorescence. Now to start with, bring a clean test tube and start adding 0.5 gram of tartaric acid. Now add 1 ml of concentrated H2SO4. Now we will identify carbon monoxide by igniting the gas evolved and observing the blue flame. Warm it, not the papals and not the char on the walls of the test tube. Now we will see carbon monoxide as blue flame. Now, to start with, start with a clean test tube and start adding few mLs of sodium tartarate solution. Now, add one drop of a freshly prepared ferrous sulfate. and add two drops of hydrogen peroxide. Followed by excess sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide in excess. Watch the violet color. To start with, bring a clean test tube and we will add 0.5 gram of citric acid. Now add 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Then Warm the mixture for one minute to identify the carbon monoxide formation. Now warm, watch the air bubbles and the change in color to yellow. Now we will see the blue flame due to carbon monoxide. Now, after cooling, we will add a few mLs of water to dissolve the mixture and add sodium hydroxide to make it alkaline. Finally, add a few drops of sodium nitroprusside. Not the change in color to it in this layer. Now, in a 
completely dry tested tube we will fuse together a few crystals of salicylic acid and phthalic anhydride. Now using a flame, fuse the mixture <coughs> Okay and We will add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid Leave it to cool we will add some water to dissolve the mixture. And then add excess sodium hydroxide. Not the violet color. 